Chapter 5 Season 3 just dropped, and in my opinion, this season is chaotic. It is pure fun and chaos, and if you enjoy Mad Max or Mad Max vibes, this season is for you. The start of this season comes with awesome map changes, a great battle pass, solid loot pool, new medallions, and chaotic but divisive car changes that has really stirred up the gameplay this season. With all of these additions, all of this new content, I really feel like players will absolutely love this season and defend it as if their life depends on it, or others will absolutely hate this season and consider it one of the worst seasons of all time. So let's talk about what I've really liked so far and what I didn't like after playing the launch day for season three. And as always, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Something that always helps a Fortnite season start off strong is awesome map changes. And I truly believe season three has the best map changes so far this chapter. They added a new desert biome with the huge sandstorm that appeared on the map this season and i absolutely love desert biomes it was my favorite biome in chapter one it was my favorite biome in chapter three and i have a strong feeling it's going to be my favorite biome in chapter five something about the desert biome always just looks so good in fortnite we also got a few new named locations like redline rig brutal beachhead and nitrodrome snooty steps has changed to sandy steps with most of the location being covered in sand including the peter griffin statue which honestly makes me really sad. We also have P-Boys HQ, Megala Depot, The Wreck Mill, and Little Dirty Doc in the desert biome as well. Overall, I am super happy with the map changes so far this season, and I hope they do a few additional map changes throughout the season to really keep the map fresh and feeling alive. With the start of every season, we have to talk about the battle pass. Fortnite is known for releasing incredible battle passes pretty much every season, and a lot of this battle pass actually works for me. I like a a lot of the skins and items in this battle pass if you want to see my full review of the battle pass you can click the link in the description or search it on my channel when you're done watching this video now there are some misses as well for me but i do absolutely love the machinist magneto bright raider and the t60 power armor i also really enjoy the megalodon as a tier 100 skin i think he's really cool and i really like the rust skin which seems to be this chapter's rust lord to be honest i'm not really fond of p-boy uh but i'm sure a lot of people love that skin i know a lot of people like the meme skins that fortnite releases or like the goofy character skins but it's just really not for me but i do love his emo and i am 50 50 on scar i don't love her base version but i do love her version with the hyena helmet i think that version is really sick there are some gliders and pickaxes i really like and there are also some i'm not really fond of but overall i really like this battle pass and i don't think chapter 5 has had a miss in regards to battle passes every season epic mixes up the loot pool for fortnite battle royale which makes this always a fun discussion because i feel there is usually something that is incredible incredibly broken that you have to use in your loadout but this season I'm not feeling that and I honestly like that a lot with the reaper sniper and the auto frenzy shotgun gone I feel that the loot pool is pretty balanced all three shotguns are viable I love that the combat shotgun is back it's one of my all-time favorite shotguns we also got a new weapon called the boom bolt which is a lot of fun to use we have a few ARs with the combat the warforged and the enforcer and they're all pretty balanced depending on your play style both SMGs are pretty balanced I like both of them to be honest and we still have the DMR for long range, which is really good and really strong, but it's not OP. We have a new fun healing item, the Nuka Cola with the Fallout collab, and we have the Nitro Splash, which is a blast to use. And per usual, for mobility, we have Shockwaves, which is great. I'm glad they add the Shockwaves every season because I feel like it is a Fortnite staple at this point. And then we got a new item called Nitro Fist for mobility. Oh, wait, did I say we don't have any broken items this season? Yeah, that's my bad. Well, we have the nitro fists which are great for mobility and close combat they're so great that you'll absolutely love them if you have them or absolutely hate them if they're used against you so make sure you're carrying them in your loadout but overall i am enjoying the loot pool so far and i hope it doesn't get a lot of changes like last season with the avatar mythics that just ruined season two for me now you're probably thinking but toon spider you said people might love or hate this season, but so far you've only said good things about this season, so what is there to hate? And my answer to that is this. <music> Fucking cars. And I'm not talking about Lightning McQueen or Tomator type cars. I'm talking about turret shooting, cow catching, 
spike stabbing invincible tires type of cars this season fortnite released car modding and let's just say these broken vehicles are giving mechs a run for their money Ugh, i still get ptsd from those playable transformers but cars have been really dividing the community this season especially the competitive tournament players and the casual player base and i gotta just say the cars this season truly can make or break the season for you they are chaotic and fun but they are so broken and it isn't a great feeling taking infinite bullets up the butt from a turret or getting ran over and instantly dying however the cars do provide great content and it seems like this is gameplay we will just have to adapt to this season this season is all about cars which kind of makes sense since this season looks like it's mainly based on mad max and we still haven't even gotten the monster trucks this season oh and i absolutely hate that glitch where someone can basically be under the map and not get shot at they survive storm uh we lost a game because of that and that was really frustrating so hopefully epic fixes that really Real quick the storyline we will talk about on a later date because i don't know much yet but i do know hope is finally getting voice dialogue which is much needed for her character jonesy will be getting voice dialogue as well he'll be voiced by troy baker again there's someone called the wanderer out there and cerberus and oscar are currently on the map so that doesn't completely close the season one and season two storylines which is great i like when the storyline is continuous rather than one and done with each season so it does seem we have potential for a great storyline which does make me happy my final thoughts for season three so far it is too early to tell if i'm going to love or hate this season but i'll never hate it as much as i do chapter two season six i will say i did have a lot of fun the first day i definitely got frustrated as well but overall it was a good experience i'm not going to call it one of my favorite seasons of all time but i do think it was a good launch it was a little overwhelming but it was still fun but we will know how i truly felt about this season when the season comes to an end and i release my chapter 5 season 3 review video and if you want to see how i felt about season 2 you can click here or the link in the description and i honestly hope you love this season i hope you have a great time playing chapter 5 season 3 it's going to be chaotic and fun and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace